Welcome to a short tutorial on how to use Crieza's Mindomo mind mapping tool and all its features. Here you are at Crieza's homepage. You simply click on the Crieza icon on the top left. You'll find your personal homepage. Then come to Tools. You click on Mindomo at the bottom where you will be brought to a blank Mindomo mind map. You begin by looking at your workspace where you find a bubble in the center. This is where you insert your central topic. Let's use food groups. You simply click text and replace it with your um, central topic. Here this can be adjusted, not only the text but its size, font, color, etc. So you choose your text, come up to formatting, where you can make it bold or not bold, italicized, underlined, etc. You can cha change your font color. You can change the background color of your bubble. You can change the size one of two ways. You can either choose a specific size or you can increase and decrease font using these two buttons here. I'm also going to change the font itself. So as you see, there's lots of options. From here, you, your mind map generally branches out um, to subtopics. And once again, you have choices on how to do this. You can either come up to the subtopic button on the top left, or you can simply choose your button and press Enter. And you will see a small subtopic that pops out. Um, again, you can just click on the text and replace it with your subtopics. Now I know that I'm going to need five subtopics so I can come back up and add those here. I then replace the text okay and again for visual purposes you will generally change the color. Again, just click on your subtopic and you can come up to the paint bucket and change your color. Okay, from here you know that there will probably be subtopics branching off from each of your five main topics. Once again, click on the bubble and add subtopic. Okay, so we get the point. As we are inputting all our subtopics, if you find that you have added one subtopic too many, you simply choose that topic, come up to editing, and just delete whatever it is that you do not want to have in your mind map. Okay, as you see, as I was inputting information, um, the map has become heavy on one side. And this can easily be fixed by simply clicking on the um, subgroup that you would like to move and balance out your mind map so that it is visually appealing. Oops. There we go. Okay, so the next step that I'd like to show you is how to add images. Um, and in, Using my Mindomo, this is 
extremely easy. You just simply click on the bubble that you would like to add an image to, come over to multimedia, and you can see here I have added some images. You can also choose from Mindomo Pictures where they have several different folders with different types of generic images that you can choose from. Or you can quite easily add to your pictures, my pictures, by uploading images through your home page, which is here. And you see your picture that you have added. You can also edit here. Browse for images that you can save from the internet or that you have taken and just upload them. Once they are uploaded, they will save under My Media Files, which you can then come back and access under your multimedia. So you then click and choose the picture you want to add. While that is loading, um, I could show you a few more things. If you go to, let's close down this window, go to view, you see different types of document view. You can choose to come on over. Um, you can collapse your map to just your basic subtopics. You can choose how many levels you would like to show. You can do that individually for each branch as well. Um, and if you're still just not happy with the way your map looks, a nice little tool, once you have your entire map in view, you can press Balance Map, which makes your map nice and tight and organized. And for somebody like me, um, I found that to be a really nice feature. You can then come up and change the formatting of your map. So you can choose different map styles. Um, besides the four basics shown here, there's a drop-down menu where you can see several more choices, which is nice. It just gives a different feel for your map, depending on what you're looking for. Let's stick with this. You can choose numbering, um, different types of outlining formats to organize the thoughts that you have put onto your mind map. And here is another nice tool that I like. This is called Boundary. Um, it allows you to choose. So say, for example, I'm going to look at the grains. I can then put a boundary around that specific group. Um, and you can then fill it in, um, which is a nice oops, way to just highlight the different groups and bring attention to the fact that each branch of your mind map is individual. As you can see, the pictures are still loading, um, and that is probably my fault as I have not splurged and gone for the upgrade. This tool is a free tool, but can be upgraded to a premium account for a very small charge, um, which would then not only give you more access to more tools, images, and such, but would also, I'm sure, increase the um, usability of these tools. So while we're waiting, um, I just also want to show you how to add a hyperlink, um, which is a great feature, uh, especially for teachers, to allow you to make those connections. That as much as the learning is being put in a very visual, um, hands-on manner using these mind maps, being able to link out and access information throughout the internet uh, makes these tools absolutely priceless. So very simply, click on wherever you would like to add the hyperlink to, come up, press hyperlink, Copy and paste a URL address into this space here. Do a quick description of what will be found at that address. Um, another very simple and very important feature of Mindomo is the ability to add notes. And 
that's again very simple to do. You, you can either right click oops I'm sorry on the green button click on the green button um, and press insert notes or you can come over to your tabs on the left here and press notes. You can then insert any sort of text that you want to clarify what the subtopic is about and it immediately gets added. You can close this down. It then alerts anybody looking at your mind map that there are following notes. If they just scroll over it, the notes pop right up, which is a wonderful feature. As simple as it was to add the images, <laughs> um, you can very simply add symbols. And besides the very few shown here, there is a drop down menu which shows several more that they have to add. And again you just click on the bubble and choose the image you want to insert. And one last thing that I would like to show you because I think it's important um, is the ability to add different types of topics. And so even though we have a parent topic with several subtopics you can introduce topics as you can see here either below or above but there's also a floating topic um, which allows you to place another idea which is related in some way and you can decide how you want to show those relationships afterwards um, but so you have a little floating bubble with the plus sign which you then can click anywhere on your workspace and that floating topic will be put in. Add your topic in and from this second floating topic you can obviously then add another, you know, minor subtopics from here. This can then be moved at any point around your workspace. If your workspace becomes too cluttered, come back up, zoom out, give yourself some space. You can then show the relationship between your new floating topic and your original by pressing relationship, clicking on the two bubbles you would like to show a relationship between. This here then gives you the ability to move your line around and change the angle at which this relationship is shown. Which brings me to another point. Um, once you have your line set, your lines can also be as adjusted just as easily as your bubbles and the outlining of those bubbles. You can change the colors of these lines. You click on the bubble that the line is connecting to, then click on your line format. You can pick and choose a color here and adjust all your lines to correlate with the original idea. as you see the line changes. You can also change the weight of your line um, which would draw more attention to it and also the style. Um, so as you see these are very square you can change to the curvy lines let's change the whole map to give you a good idea of what I'm talking about. See? So there you have it, the ability to format bubbles, subgroups, minor topics off that, the lines that connect them, the background, the grouping. Um, I wish I could have shown you the pictures, but that function seems to not be working at the moment. Um, you can add second topics, you can add hyperlinks, you can add notes, and you can organize your map to be as visually pleasing as you would like. I hope you've enjoyed my tutorial.